Hello everyone, this is Carol. Today we'll be showing you how to make a creative intro like this one. Well, since it involves a lot of little add-on tricks, we will divide this series into several episodes. And in this one, we will focus on the whole production idea of this intro and some of the key elements used. If you are interested in this topic, just keep watching. If you want to make this kind of colorful intro, one thing you need is to hammer out your color scheming in advance. If you have no clue on that, you can go check out the website www.coolers.co to find some great color schemes for your video. Well, this is not sponsored at all, and I will put a link in the screen. The site will generate a variety of color schemes options for you to choose from. And you can just select the one you like and save it. Here, I choose this set of color scheme and also the white and gray colors. And for here, I'd like to go with the red and the black that have very strong contrast between light and dark as my main color. Then choose yellow and blue as a secondary color and the rest as the ornamental colors. But how exactly do we get the solid color of these colors we choose? We click here in the video sequence and then change our background color by clicking here. Enter the color number we find in color code here. Click down. You can see the background color has now changed. Next, we need to take a screenshot of the video. But since there is no footage yet in the timeline, we are not able to do the screenshot. So we click here to create a text and delete all the characters. Now click on screenshot to get a solid color. The color blocks in the video are created by adjusting the solid color. After we are done with the color, we need to solve another problem, and that is how to keep the audience's attention on the screen. One of the most important tricks is the movement and the change of the picture. Since people's attention is laterally focused on the center of the picture and on the objects that are clearly different from the surrounding things, when all the elements appear in the picture at once, the audience's attention will automatically be focused on the character in the middle while all the other elements are also moving to the beats of the music, which will also strengthen the visual intention. Although the audience can clearly see every detail, it is because of these small changes that the whole picture gets to move. Similarly, in the second screen, there is a visual focus in the image, and the changes around are to make the image look more dynamic, and the variation from 2D to 3D also adds an interest and a variability to the image. In the third image, there is a clear separation of the motion and the static part. And this can easily focus the viewer's eyes on the motion part in the image. And the movement of the text adds more dynamics to the picture. Well, just get your image moving. In addition to the color scheme, and the image motion mentioned about. Here's another trick we can use, and that is a small animation and a text. Here we adopt the wave effect, flash and light, graphic change, and a text flash, graphic change, and a text rotation, graphic change, and an image change. Also, the interlaced text. These elements can express the content of the video and increase the richness and rhythm of the image. Well, this is all for today's video. 
And in the next video, we'll be teaching you the exact tutorial on how to do a creative intro. If you want to know more about other add-on tricks or what has been going on with VidiPro Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.